I ain't got none of this shit no more. None of it. Strip me. <clears throat> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video with me, another pair. In today's video, I have to do a What's in My Basketball Bag video. A couple of you guys been asking, hey yo bro, you should do another What's in My Basketball Bag video. I'm like, you know what? That's a real good idea because I have changed some stuff. So that's what I'm doing. What's in my basketball bag video. Oh yeah, and uh, if y'all can see this little dirt, dirty stain up on this table, please excuse that. Y'all already know what it is. Real recognize real. And I'm gonna do this video regardless, dirty table or not. Y'all know all y'all what I'm saying? Cause I bet a lot of y'all got a lot of dirty tables in y'all house right now. Hey, it is what it is, all right? So let me just shut up and let's get right into it. Starting off, I gotta I gotta go with the bag. I gotta go with the whole life bag, you feel what I'm saying? If y'all seen my first what's in my basketball bag video, then y'all already know about this bag. This bag is big enough to fit your entire life in it. That's why I like it, bro. This is like an authentic army. Authentic out in the field army. You feel what I'm saying? And no, I ain't never been to the army. But this is authentic 100% army, bro. This bag is like enormous. That's why I rock with it. Because like I said, it can fit your entire life in this bag. You feel what I'm saying? Watch. Look at this. Boom. Look at this. This bag just engulfing me, bro. Like, I'm all the way tucked in this bad boy. Going with a zip. Going with a zip. Like, my whole life is in this bag. You feel what I'm saying? That's why I'm rocking with that bag. So, yeah. This is the bag I'm rocking with, man. I do not I do not know what it's called. Surface Warriors. Uh, Let's Roll. Uh, I don't know the brand of this. Because, like I said, it is authentic army. I did get this from somebody that was in the army. And they hooked me up. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm glad they did. And, and it, it, it's probably going to be hard to replace this bag, bro. Just because it's that big. And it can fit your whole entire life. So, I'm not. Mm, do I sit this? You know what? I sit this on the table just to see. You know, if it gets to filling stuff up, I'm just going to be knocking stuff off. You feel what I'm saying? But moving on for the kicks. I love to keep me some nice hooping kicks in the bag. These are the last shoes I hooped in. So they is in the bag, man. And, and you know what? These was my number one shoes. Like these right here was my number one kicks. And you know, I hooped, I hooped in these bad boys a lot. Like I freaking love these things. These are like so comfortable. Like a lot of people complain about the traction saying it wasn't so good, but this, this traction has been A1 day one for your boy. Like Oman dudes, gray juice. Like this traction has been A1 day one. Like I'm, I'm digging this. If it wasn't for that crazy explosives, Bruh, these are be number one, but these was the last shoes I hooped in, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these right here. But you always gotta keep a spare in that bag, and that's why I have boom the Adidas Crazy Explosives 2017. If y'all ain't seen my review on these, go check out my review on these. I'm telling you, these is gonna be the hooping shoes of the year. I love these things. Like these are my number ones. First it was these, now it's these. But you know, I like to keep two pairs of shoes in my bag just for the simple reason, you know, if one fail or I just ain't feeling them, I'm gonna switch it up. And being that these is the best shoes of the year and these is like my number one go-to's, I gotta keep these in the arsenal. You feel what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm gonna sit them on top of there. Crazy Explosive 2017's, I got them in the bag. Damn, boy, come on, man. Hey, man, hey, man, hey, man. Y'all already know I can't. What? Huh? Good, you can all that goddamn noise. My bad. Hey man, y'all already know y'all can't go nowhere without a basketball, bro. If 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 y'all only need one thing in your basketball bag, it has got to be a basketball. I don't care what it is. If you can only choose one thing to put in your basketball bag, it better be a basketball because you will need a basketball, bro. You can hoop in flip flops, you can hoop in socks, you can hoop in no socks, you can hoop in just barefooted. You gotta have a basketball in your bag, and that's why I got this basketball in my bag, bro. This Wilson Evolution is like the thing too. Like this basketball is dope. I'm <laughs> I gotta keep a basketball in my bag, especially that Wilson, bro. Last time I had like a little cheap NBA Spalding basketball that I got from like Walmart. That's because my other ball got stolen. I needed, I needed to go get something quick. Hey, bump all that. You know I had to go get that Wilson, bro. And I also keep some duct tape in my bag. <laughs> I'm just playing. That's just to hold this basketball for this video. You know what I'm saying? So, boop. I'm gonna go ahead and put that basketball right there. Hey, hey. That's where it's at, fam. Next up, y'all know y'all can't do no without no cones, man. I, I I never take these out of my bag. I always keep some cones in my bag because you never know when you go to that gym and it's dead and you're like, man, I thought I was in a hoop. 
Hey, bust out the cones, get you some work in. Like, I can't stress that enough. Work, work, work. You wanna be good, you gotta work, work, work. You know, what Rihanna say? Work, 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 work. You know, whatever she said, I don't know. But hey, I, I, I keep cones in the bag just because if the gym is ever dead, I'm going to go and I'm set up some cone drills and I'm gonna get it in, you feel what I'm saying? Because you know, I love working. I just like having fun with all that, you know? Like I said, I like to keep some cone drills for that work. With that cone drill, boom! I like to keep a jump rope. This jump rope right here will help you get loose. It will help on that vertical. It will help with your workouts. It will get you tired. All that, bruh. You gotta have a jump rope, man, just to stay loose and do all that. It's just break a sweat, man. Plus, I love jump roping. Like, for real, for real, like, jump roping is fun to me. Like, I be challenging myself, like, I bet you can't do this with one, five, one hop 10 times, one, two, three, 10, you know? I love having a jump rope in the bag, so the, a jump rope is gonna forever stay in the bag, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna sit jump rope right there. I know y'all can't see it, because I got all this big stuff in the way, but y'all get the memo, bro. I got a jump rope right here. Put out! These Jaybird Bluebird X. Like, I had these in my last video, too. I lost the case to it, but, hey, like I said, these Jaybird Bluebird X is, like, freaking amazing like real talk i love these things like these are better than beats bro i don't care what none of y'all say man bro beats is i don't care what none of y'all say bro these is way better than beats bro and i have some beats i own two pairs of beats to be exact and i'm telling you right now these are entirely way better than beats okay just because they ain't got the b on it don't mean nothing but hey this got a jb on it you feel what i'm saying and it is what it is i love the jaybird blue bud x and i'm never going to another brand ever again because these things i had these for almost three years going on four bro that's how long i had these things maybe maybe three almost three and they just they still like brand new bro them jaybird blue bud x is dope and if y'all if y'all want some of the stuff i got in the video I'm, I'm gonna have everything down in the description box so you know if y'all see something y'all like in this video and y'all want it just go down and just click on it you feel what i'm saying just go ahead and go buy bro boom apple watch i gotta keep that apple watch to count them calories to count them steps to just do whatever i want to do to make me feel better about myself to make it actually seem like i did some work gotta keep that apple watch you know you don't want to miss no text message you know i'm married so my wife can be like honey 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 it's time to, it's time to eat when are you coming home and i can be like well, you can't really type on this for real, but don't be like, hey, baby, I'm going to be home right after this workout, okay? Give me like 30 minutes. I got to keep that Apple Watch. The Apple Watch, Apple Watch is what's up. I highly recommend this bad boy. Put that Apple Watch right there. Next up, boom. Yep, I still got them same McDavid knee pads. You know, them, them knee sleeves that I had in my video, I still have them. These are the same ones. The ones that in that video I said I had like for like two years or whatever I said. Hey, the, I, I, this is my only pair of of knee sleeves, my only pair. I've had these forever, and, and I'm telling you, I ain't got no holes in them, I ain't got nothing. The only thing that's messing up is the is the McDavid symbol right here is just fading up, I promise. A lot of people say, man, bro, I had them and mine's tore like a month. Well, I don't know what kind of pair you had or what you was doing in your knee pads, but I'm telling you, I had these forever. Going on three years, three and a half years, bruh, I'm telling you, these is what's up. I have no problems. Whatever y'all got going on with y'all knee sleeves, Hey, hey, count me out, because all I know is these bad boys is dope. You feel what I'm saying? I love these knee pads, so I keep them in the bag. I also wear some tights underneath them. I mean, I don't really consider that being in my bag because they be on me, you feel what I'm saying? But hey, it is what it is. Wearing these tights and these knee pads keep your boy nice and warm. That way I can be loose and I can get buckets on them fat moles, you feel what I'm saying? Y'all know I'm still rocking with that air pump, right? I, you know, you got a basketball in your bag, you need an air pump. What happens if you got a, the only thing you got in your bag is a basketball, right? What happens if you walking down the street and you try to dribble and your ball just super, super flat? Like super, super fucking flat, you feel what I'm I'm saying you got a super flat ball and you like dang it now what i'm gonna do hey hey real cheap at walmart i'm telling you i think this is probably like five bucks at walmart and, and a two pack of needles came with it hey them air pumps i remember one time i was at the gym bro at the gym nobody in there had a pump bro but every like it was like three people in there dudes was like man my ball super flat i was like hey hold on i got you hold on i got you i brought out that air pump they was like man nate you come prepare hey you gotta come prepare bro like man i said you got your phone charger with you you can't prepare for that bad boy to be dead then why can't you come to the gym with a air pump you gotta have an air pump that's just what i'm saying you gotta have that air pump I'm gonna see where the hell, I'm gonna see the, oh, see the air pump right there. How about that? Still got that extra t-shirt, man. You gotta have that extra t-shirt in your bag because if y'all hoop like I do, y'all gonna get drenched wet with sweat. Like, oh, it's gonna be on and popping. You gotta keep that extra sweaty t-shirt because you do not want to walk outside, especially if it's a winter time and it's cold outside. You do not want to walk outside in that drenched, wet, sweat t-shirt because that's the most uncomfortable feeling ever. 
You also do not want to walk about that gym hot in the summertime with a super duper sweaty shirt because that, that's just like the most humid thing ever. So just come with a spare t-shirt, drop t-shirt, that way you can just change it up and you just walk out the gym just real cold and just, just like dry and whatever, you know, everything be fine. You won't get sick or none of that. You're going to be dry. And then if you need to go to the grocery store or something, you can just pop right into the grocery store. Since you're going to be sweaty, you might as well have some of that deodorant with you too. If you're going to change into a dry shirt, you might as well have that stick of deodorant with you because you don't want to be in a dry shirt and smell like straight doo-doo butter onions. You know what I'm saying? Because if you smell like doo-doo butter onions, then people are going to be looking at you like, oh, nah, boy, this boy got to go. Like, this boy smelling like straight onion sacks, bruh. And I ain't feeling it, okay? Nah, fam. I ain't feeling that one bit, so. Keep some deodorant in the bag, bruh. You got to. Hairbrush, you know what I'm saying? Like, look. Nobody want to walk around the gym with them KDPs, you know what I'm saying? Nobody want them Kevin Durant BBs in their head, so you got to keep that brush. You know, after you hoop, and like I said, maybe you want to run to the grocery store or run to the gas station, go get your Gatorade, get you some drinks, stay hydrated. Man, nobody want, nobody want to be stanky, sweaty, and hair nappy. Bro, get you a brush. We don't want them KD BBs, you know what I'm saying? So get you that brush, cuz. I keep that brush in that bag, too. Even though I ain't got no waves, my waves ain't popping, but hey, I ain't got no BBs. I ain't got them KD BBs, you know what I'm saying? Straight like that, though. Hey, up next, I got that Antidote uh, uh, Midnight Cherry. Bruh, this stuff right here works wonders, bruh. Like, dead serious. I spray these in my work boots, and my, my work boots is ferocious, bruh. Like, foul. I think they can kill a flock of geese. I'm telling you. Greatest invention that so far, bruh. Period. Like, all you gotta do is take your shoe, put it in there, a couple squirts. Bruh. Oh my gosh, bro. Like, bro, on some, like, I wanna drink this whole bottle my, on my mama, bro. If I can drink this, I will drink this. Matter of fact, it make a, it make a good air freshener, too. Wow. Ah. Mm. Bro, like, right now, it just smell like straight black cherry, that midnight Kool-Aid cherry. Like, Matter of fact, I'm about to go ahead and taste this stuff, bro. Hold on. Hopefully, I don't die. If y'all don't see no more videos after this, it's probably because I didn't die chasing this. So, dang, my like my mouth hold my whole mouth was watering. <sighs> Wish me luck. Here we go. Ah, ah no. Ah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, my whole damn tongue is numb. Hey, that do not taste like how it smell. Oh my God, why'd I do that? This is the next thing I got in my bag, you feel what I'm saying? It's, it's a book, you know? Coach Wooden's Pyramid of Success. Building blocks for a better life, I'm telling you. Everybody should have this in their bag. I'm this is like the most inspirational, motivational, whatever you wanna call it, book ever. And I really don't even read books, but this book right here, it, it, you know, this will boost you up. I'm telling you, this, this is show you how to be a man on and off the court. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, everybody, if y'all don't take nothing away from this video, take this. Like, straight like that, though. Like, dead serious, bro. Y'all need to go check this book out. For real, though, because it, it's, it's the truth. Like, that book is the truth. I'm telling you. Everything that I keep in my bag, I take to the gym with me, is right here. Y'all feel what I'm saying? So, you know, like I said, from my last video, I did change some few things. You know, it, it, it comes with time. You know, you change stuff out. And I still keep some stuff to say because that's just the Hooper's mentality. Like, for example, this basketball. I got to keep a basketball in the bag because that's just what it is. That's all I got for y'all, man. Like I said, you know, if y'all see anything in this video that y'all like and want to check it out, I will have links down in the description. But, oh, yeah, I think my bag is lit. What y'all think? Y'all think this is a lit bag? Let me know. Let me know down in the comments if y'all think this bag is lit because I think my bag is lit. Ha! <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna end the video right here. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this, for that fire content, for that funny, you know, that that another pair content. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all like what I, if y'all like what y'all see here and y'all like me, then go ahead and subscribe if y'all want to keep seeing me. You feel what I'm saying? Cause it's only right. I think I think y'all should subscribe and keep seeing me. But you know, I ain't gonna force nobody. I am not gonna force nobody to do what they don't want to do. You feel what I'm saying? But if you do subscribe, I'll see y'all in the next video. Holla!